Hello friends. So we're doing another um, cook today. We're going to do uh, some loin back ribs here and I already uh, pre-seasoned with some salt uh, about a teaspoon and a half for this three pound uh, loin back rib and I'm going to use that lemon there uh, as uh, squeeze that as a binder and uh, shout out to all things barbecue. This uh, Wolstoff knife is really nice for doing a little trim up. I cut, cut a little bit of the chime off uh, the back there so it's nice and clean. And here's the rub kind of stuff I'm going to do. Uh, some black pepper, which I ground, and some minced onion, minced garlic, thyme, ancho chili, and a little bit of cayenne. And that's kind of about what the uh, amounts of each one looks like. Uh, I've been trying to make them a little bit more coarse, uh, not so powdery, because I think in the cooks, the powdery stuff just kind of washes out. And I'm going to add maybe a teaspoon of uh, that white sugar and brown sugar to this rub and then uh, we'll be putting that on and we'll be uh, cooking here in a minute okay uh, we'll see you soon okay friends so you can see the uh, rub is applied and is setting I used about half that lemon and you can see that the uh, it's a little bit more chunky than the typical rub and I used ancho instead of paprika and I didn't use a lot so it doesn't have tons of color but I, I feel like the uh, the, the chunkier part of this rub is going to hold up better on the long cook and I'm going to try not to wrap so we'll see how it goes. Okay so you can see the setup we got here. We got some uh, cherry and pecan. Just a little bit of chunks going now and trying to keep the temperatures down with that uh, water pan. I usually don't bother but today I'm going to try not to wrap. Let me get the ribs on the side. Today I'm only doing one. If I had more I could maybe use the rack. Uh, and I've got the chef alarm over there to uh, keep track from that probe in the back and a few more chunks here that we may throw on maybe that big or small one depending on how the temperatures move so I'm going to close that box and uh, go with the indirect and uh, we'll see how it goes okay so we've been closed up for about 15 20 minutes and this one says 275 but down at the grate level it's uh, about 260 and I saw it had peaked around 270 so I think we're going to be about where we want to be, running a little hot now, but it's going to come down. And the smoke is starting to get a lot less. So actually what we're going to do is ride that small piece. And that big piece we're not going to use today. So let's, let's put that on. Let's get, that, get this uh, small piece of cherry on there. You can see that wood burn down there pretty quick. But it's still got some coals there. So that'll get going. And we're going to close this up and probably not mess with it or do anything for uh, several more hours. So we'll uh, see you then. Just another real quick shot. You can see that thin blue smoke coming out the back. It's, it's a little hard to see with the video, but uh, that piece is caught. And uh, we're doing uh, 230, which is going to be just fine. So it's been three hours. And uh, we're right where we want to be. This says uh, 250 about, but down on the grates we're at uh, 230, which is right where we want to be. And uh, these burners on the left are off, and on the one on the right, I've just got it up one notch, which I uh, I had set just before I had got things started this morning. Uh, and I actually just played nine holes of golf, I had five pars in a row, and uh, getting ready to eat. I think I'm going to go to the store and get some honey. So I think I'm going to do honey and a shot of bourbon as a glaze. So we'll get to that shortly. So it's been about four hours now. Three hours since I even opened the lid and took a look. And it's time to see where we're at. Uh, we're still around 230 for the temperature, which is good. And we need to figure out, do I need to wrap? Do I want to glaze? You know, where, where are we going to be here? So let's take a look. Ooh, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I think it got some good color on there. Still looking pretty moist on top. That water didn't uh, didn't complete out, so I'm I'm gonna check for dunyas and see where we want to go with this. But so far it's looking good. So definitely not feeling done. But I didn't want to wrap it completely, so I just put some foil over the top of it, uh, just and moved it over a little closer to the heat. And I think I'm gonna do ride that for an hour. And uh, the bark didn't taste sweet at all, so I think I'll do a glaze on top. So let's see how it goes. 
Okay, finally nearing the end after almost six hours, I uh, pulled that tin foil off after 45 minutes or so, and then I did a, two rounds of glazing. And I think it's looking pretty good. It's got a nice uh, glaze on the top. It kind of split on the top on the middle as it started to pull away, so I lost a little bit of the rub there, but uh, I think that's going to work. So let's eat. Okay, so ready to eat. We got some of this uh, pinkish looking uh, Cru Class A to go with it here. I don't have no idea if I said it right. But I just, cutting that chime off definitely made it uh, pretty easy to uh, cut. Let's take a look. It looks pretty juicy. Yeah, I think, it, I think that looks pretty good. I tasted just the rub there and the black pepper was just like, wow. Holy smokes. Oh, it's still hot. Hmm. Not bad. Good tenderness. I'm liking it. Now, ribs are one of those things. They're easy to make good, hard to make great. And I think I'm still working on it, but I think these are tasting pretty good. So I just ate about three of them, and uh, they were pretty good. Uh, they were moist. Uh, I definitely got a good pre uh, bark on there that, you know, got kind of preserved through the process. I would say in the lemon, kind of really, that lemon that I used as a binder kind of kind of hung on there. I, I think we got a little bit of a California hybrid taste here with that lemon and the sweetness and everything, which I thought was pretty cool. I would say the one thing is um, uh, there's some some of that funky fat on top didn't really render out. I think the 230 temperature is too low I think next time I'm gonna do maybe a 275 kind of a deal but all in all I think it worked out pretty good and um, Next time we'll do something different